Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Let's just try it. Ready? Rolling, 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 ride. Keep rolling, 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 though the streams are swollen. Streams. Keep them doggies rolling, ride. Through the rain, wind, and weather, hell bent for leather. Leather. Okay. This is not going well. <laughs> Effingham, it's actually a song about cows, which they call doggies, but that's okay. Let's try this again, ready? Rolling, 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 ride. Keep rolling, 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 though the streams are swollen, keep them doggies rolling, ride. Through rain and wind and weather, Hell bent for leather, wishing my gal was by my side. All the things that I'm missing, good vittles, love, and kissing are waiting at the end of my ride. Move em on, head em up, head em up, boom em on, move em on, head em up, raw hide. Cut em out, ride em in, ride em in, cut em out, cut em out, ride em in, rot. That's a tongue twister, by the way. Raw hide. Keep moving, moving, moving. Though they're disapproving, keep them doggies moving, right? Yes, that's cattle. Just rope and drum random, soon we'll be living high and wide. My heart's a clap. This is a very, very difficult song. My heart's late calculating. My true love will be waiting, be waiting at the end of my ride. Ready? Move them up, head them out, head them out, move them on, move them on, head them out, raw hide. Cut them up, cut them, cut them out, ride them in, ride them in, cut them out, cut them out, ride them in, rod hide. Wow. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Rolling, 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 raw hide. Why are you laughing at me, Effingham? Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy. I I know this song because all we all any of us know about the song is Raw Hide. And then there's a whole part that goes really I think it's like the first rap song ever. Cause it goes, move them on, head them up, head them up, move them on, move them on, head them up, raw hide. Cut them out, write them in, write them in, cut them out, cut them out, write them in, raw hide. That was pretty good, actually. I'm just saying. Okay, who remembers Rawhide? And can you? No, I'm going to hold on to this question. Okay, guys, I said it once before, but welcome to Bell's Bargains. And we open every video with a song. And right now, I'm on a TV theme song kick. And Rawhide, how did this happen? Like, I literally was doing something. I was like, oh, my God, there's all the cowboy ones. And then I think I already did the Ponderosa one, which is Bonanza. And... At the end, I love at the end of that song goes, Bonanza. This one is, Rawhide. It's a great song. It is a great song. Anyway, all right, let's move along. Hey, welcome to Totally Easy Tuesday. If you don't know anything about this channel, you should know that everything is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. I know it's your, I'm not cutting up. Effingham gets really upset because he thinks, I let you have your line every, okay, seriously? Your attitude is going to have to stop. I'm not sure what's going on, but when we pull out the moo, 
I know he's upset. Evie, no, I know you have a line. Okay, first of all, let me just explain. It's Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Shh. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Here you go, Effingham. This is your line. Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a... A dollar and a... A quarter. Hey! And there you have it, folks. All right. So today, Totally Easy Tuesday. Normally, I do Totally Easy Crafts. But I'm kind of switching things up on the channel a little bit. And now I'm doing like Dollar Tree hauls with a craft at the end. And so today, my second Tuesday in a row, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have to pull down my iPad, which has the lyrics to Rawhide. Keep them up, keep them up, keep them up. What is it? We don't know. All right. So let's just jump ahead really quickly. What I'm curious is, do you guys all know who starred in Rawhide? Huge. And I mean huge star, movie star who's, I think his beginnings were in Rawhide. That sounds awful, doesn't it? So my beginnings, I started in Rawhide. Wow, mm, awkward. Anyway, he was a star of the TV show. Ended up moving out, moving up, but up, but up, but up, Rawhide. And he was a star of that, and a really famous star. So, okay, so who is it? You guys have to tell me that. Please tell me that. All right, let's move along. We are jumping into a quick, quick, and I mean short little haul. And I'm hoping I'm gonna do a craft at the end, but I gotta be honest, I don't even know what's in these bags. So I haul, I have this bin in my garage and I throw the bags in there. And then I'll pull a few out to do a haul. Sometimes it's an absolute, like I go to the store, I buy all the stuff and then I do a haul. And sometimes there's like, just throw the bags in and I pull them out for a haul. So that's what this is. So this is like a half a haul on a Tuesday. Does that make sense? I hope so. So I think we should just dive in. First of all, you guys are seeing me in the same getup for every video. I have to change that. But I'm working so much, and then I come home, and then I try to do a video, and so I'm always in my work clothes and my baseball hat. But can I tell you a really funny story? So today, we had to leave work and go to the DMV because we have to get um, – I've changed my name because I got married. So I went and got my Social Security card, but now I have to get my driver's license. So this is something I did to myself, actually. I bought tickets for us to go to Iowa – in like three weeks, we're going, we're taking the grandkids to Mount Rushmore. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Anyway, so I bought my tickets under my new married name so that it would force me to go change my name. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know, but I do. So anyway, so I had to get it done before we go travel. Otherwise, they're not going to let me on. So we go to the DMV today. I already did the Social Security. By the way, what's everybody drinking? I'm drinking a sippy cup full of stuff. So um, we go, to, I went to Social Security. I got that done last week. Now I went to the DMV today with Marcus and we decided, well, we'll get our travel IDs while we're there. Well, while I have to, I mean, I have to go. So let's get our travel IDs done. So we had all the stuff. We go in there. Anyway, funny story. The lady was not going to be friendly. Like she was like, I have a government job and I hate my job kind of attitude. You know what I'm talking about? It was like, Ugh. anyway, so I was like trying to make jokes, like trying to make her laugh, trying to make her smile. How about you just effing smile because you're dealing with the public? It wasn't happening. So anyway, so we go through, we hand her all the stuff, blah, blah, blah. She does all this. She's like, okay, let's walk down there. We have to take a photo. And I look at Marcus and I go, wait, we have to take a photo? Are you kidding me? We have to take a photo? I'm like, I have a hat on. Like I might have done my hair this morning because I wear a hat to work almost every day because it's just messy and, and, and whatever. Okay. So I have to, like, I am not embarrassed. I am who I am. And I know you guys like me for who I am. So, so I had to pull out the hat hair and be like, okay, like, oh my God. Like I was trying to like floof it up and I, no, it's the worst driver's license photo ever, ever that I've taken in my whole life. So that's okay. Whatever. It's fine. I'm going to get it. I have three weeks before we leave. So they say five, to 10 days. Do we trust that? It's government. Mm, probably not. But anyway, I'm hoping I get it. All right, so, so that's my funny story for the day. Let's get into this haul. Ready? It's not very long, but it's so fun. Okay, so I wear headbands a lot. If you watch my channel, all my besties, you guys know. Hi, besties. You know I wear headbands. First of all, I'm getting old. The hair is thinning. I've never had great hair to begin with, and now it's thinning. What the hell? Oh, I have to think about that for a moment to be depressed. Mm. But what are you going to do? So I decorate the head. 
the hair is thing. So let's decorate the head. So anyway, I always buy their headbands. And actually, I think I have this one already. But I'm going to show you guys a really cool trick. So I want you to see it. So when you wear these headbands that they have, and they have like really cute. So there's like this knot, right? So here's what happens. You put it on your head and they're like, what the hell is this? Like, what is that? It's the tail from the knot and it's awful. So I'm gonna give you guys this really good trick. So I take the tails, by the way, there's wire in here. They didn't used to, now they do. But I give it, I'm gonna try right now. I give it another knot, just another knot. And now, see how much better? Do you see it? Do you, do you? Cause I do, yeah. So it's not like this, like, whoo, like wings in the air. Okay, so anyway, so I did pick up some of these. The black, the red, and the white and the black. I love these. I don't think I have the red and the, and the white, but I did have the black already, but I wear it so much, I'm thinking like I can do another one. Yeah, okay. And then, I've seen these before, but I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buy it, because I'm definitely gonna throw it in my B bin bag. I have a B bag, a B bag. I don't have an A or a C, I just have a B bag. And in my B bag, I throw all the B things that I find. So I've never hauled this before. First of all, I think it's kind of quirky looking, but, but I was like, I don't know. I think I'm gonna throw it in there because, 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 because of the wonderful bzz he does. Anyway, I don't know, it was a B, so I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, now these are new. Designs, not a new concept, but new designs. So one of the things I love about Dollar Tree is that they will take some really cool items that are great for gift items or great for using at home or whatever. They're good items and then they throw new designs out, which I love. And so these are just new designs. So these are their sticky notes and it's like a folded thing. And then, yeah, so you get these sticky notes that are like full size, then the sort of half size and then the little like tag size. I love these. I do think they're great for gifts, gift baskets. And so I love this design. But then there was this one, which goes, maybe they all, do they all go this way? No, this one goes this way, this one goes this way. There you go, new concept, different position. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> the older you get, the more positions you should try with your sticky notes, I'm just saying. So there's that. And then there was this one, which is, this is another one that goes this way. All right, but let me just show you the inside. You saw this one. So I love, I just love these. I think they're super cute accents to do a gift basket, um, just based on the colors, right? And honestly, I use, do you guys use sticky notes as much as I do? Because I use sticky notes all the time, all day long at work, at home, everywhere, on Marcus. <laughs> sticky notes on Marcus. Maybe. Anyway, I love sticky notes. So I just think these are super cute. And I really did purchase them to show you new designs and then to throw in my gift basket stash. So love these. I actually think this is my favorite. I love the colors. I love the blue. I just think they're really cool. All right, so they're sticky notes. I think I should grab another bag. Yeah? I don't know what's in this one. There seems to be only a few things. Oh, yes, I do. All right. So every year they do their garden, I'm throwing bags, I'm just throwing bags. Wait, funny story. Maybe I already told this, but the other day we're out in the backyard and Marcus goes, there's a Dollar Tree bag in the, in the pool. I'm like, how did that happen? I don't know. Because all the Dollar Trees that I bring into our world are inside, but there was one in our pool and I thought maybe it was a sign that I should just keep doing Dollar Tree. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, all right, so they pull out their, their garden things every year, and they had really cute signs this year, which I wanna craft with. They're super cute, and I'm excited about them. However, these I don't think are new. I don't think I've ever bought them before, but these are flower forms that you put a votive in, okay? All right, so super beautiful. I love this color. I even love this color, I love this color. But I'm gonna show you guys something. So forget that it's a votive holder. Just forget that for a moment. Just look at it as a flower. And now take this and start bending your leaves in, all right? 
You can even play with these leaves and give them a little wave and no, don't, let's just do that. So now do this, let's spray paint them black or gray or even white and then take some beads or, or a button or something and fill in the inside and make it a really, really cool, two things. You can make it a really cool garden steak. You can take three of them and make them a really cool garden steak or an absolutely phenomenal wall hanging. Paint them black, put some color just in the center. I don't, like I said, I don't care what the color is. Actually, it could be twine, it could be anything. Just put color in there and then spray paint them black and you would have this amazing, and I mean amazing wall hanging. Now you can keep them the colors that you want. That's totally fine. Like you could just keep them, not what you want, but what they are. You can keep that. If you're gonna do that, here's what I would suggest. Buy three of the same colors. So this blue I actually think is absolutely gorgeous. So notice, I'm like pulling those leaves up. Now why do I do this? Because it gives, oh my gosh, this one's painted together. But it gives it such dimension when you pull the leaves out. Look at that. It gives it such dimension. So if you've got three of the same, what do I always say? Three, five, sevens, odd numbers. Never do even numbers. It's not good in decorating. Always do odd numbers. And so that's why that's... You're right, Effingham. The reason I only have one of you is because that's an odd number. Kind of like you, odd. So you could do these if you picked a color and do them all in the same color, but I think spray painting in black would be super chic, really cool. Put them on a wall, just three of them together, or five, or seven, or do a whole wall, but make sure they're odd numbers. I just think these would look really cool. But remember, play with the metal that they give us, right? Don't go with the flat, don't do it. Always pull it out and three-dimensionalize it because look, this makes, okay, so look at this flower right now. Now watch. Let's take it back to flat. It looks like a bunch of plastic spoons. Am I right? But when you pull it out and you give it some dimension, it's so much better. All right, so I purchased those and I'm not sure if I'm gonna spray paint them black or if I'm gonna, I'm not sure. I might actually do white even, because I think that would be really pretty and do like just a, just a floral stand with the three of them in there. Okay. Grabbing another bag and I have no idea what's in it. Well, let's find out. All right, so this is um, Reynolds Cooking Sheets, which I love these. So um, I don't know why they're stuck together, but they are, but I got two of them. So these are, you just pull out the cooking baking sheets to throw on your cookie sheet. You don't have to pull it out and try and find, am I the only one that struggles with the serrated like rip thing on foil, on plastic wrap, on wax paper. Am I the only one? I'm pretty sure I'm not. Like how many cuts have you gotten trying to rip off? Plastic wrap I think is the worst by the way because it bunches up and it's like, oh. Anyway, but so these sheets are the same thing. I love this because it's like pre-done for you. You just pull it out, put it on a cookie sheet. You can bake, bake your cookies or whatever you're gonna do. I love that. Okay, so what else is in here? Jeff, to go. Um, I'm addicted right now to apples and peanut butter, and then I throw almonds on top of it. Mm, it's like dessert for lunch. So I take an apple, I take peanut butter, and I take uh, slivers of almonds, and like I like take spoonfuls of peanut butter and almonds and throw it on my apple. And that, ugh, this isn't an apple, but you get what I'm going. So I love these because it's prepackaged and. I know if you have a family and you're like doing things for lots of people, this is not reasonable. But when there's only two of you and you're packing lunches every day, this is extremely reasonable and I like it and it's easy and I throw the package away. There's nothing to wash, which peanut butter is so greasy. So washing anything peanut butter, stinky roonies, totally stinky roonies. Okay, so I know there's more of these, so I'm gonna put that down. Wait, something blew up in my bag. <gasps> what blew up? I'm not sure. Something did. Well, this is really sad, but this is Old Spice Soap. But it smells so good. What's the old commercial? Somebody tell me what the old Old Spice commercial. It's something about smell, isn't it? Anyway, I bought this for Marcus for Father's Day. Well, that's not gonna work, because it something blew up on it. I don't even know what in here blew up. I'm not sure. 
Anyway, they have Old Spice there. I love the smell of Old, Old Spice. And so I was putting together like a little um, hygiene basket for him for Father's Day. So this was going to go in it. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to do now. This was also going to go in it, which this is pocket. It's got stuff on it, but this is pocket cologne. Like how cute is that? Throw it in your car. When you stink a Rooney from work, spritz before you see me. Maybe. I don't know. Um, what else is it? Oh my gosh, there's something like the oh, another pocket clone. Okay, so these are cedar wood scented, and this is berg uh, what is that? Bergamot? I don't know what that is. Somebody tell me. Anyway, I just thought these were super cute. Like to literally to throw in your car and like spritz before you know you meet me. Okay, but then like look at these, they're so what blew up? Uh, I'll find it in the bag. Okay, so Barbazol, which they have there all the time, but this is family size. I was like, wait, what? So you're getting like 25% more for the same price that they're selling the regular size bottles at. So of course I grabbed that. So this is um, fragrance free and this one is extra moisturizing. If you don't know Marcus, you should watch some of our foodie fun days. The man is a bear. Like he is... I call him my burly bear because there's a lot of hair like everywhere. Like I call it fur. He's a lot of fur. So we're always shaving. Not we. I'm not. He is. So anyway, I only shave my legs when I'm in the shower. Okay. <laughs> so I was buying stuff to throw together a cute little hygiene basket for him for Father's Day. All right. So I might have I might have missed this, but I think it's a new product. And this is called a cobweb duster now if you buy cleaning prod products from dollar tree you know they have the whole um stick thing that you screw into the broom or the swiffer or whatever so obviously it's going to go in here as well and this is a it looks like a super huge toilet brush but put it up in your ceiling and get rid of those cobwebs i was like yeah or make a porcupine craft just put a little face on it Anyway, I need, needed it for cleaning. So this is what that bag looks like. What the heck? It smells good. Whatever it is, it smells really good. Okay, let's throw that away. Okay, next bag. Oh, this has florals in it. And you guys know I love, love, love their floral picks. Um, but you have to be really careful when you buy their floral picks. Just don't just buy anything because they're not all good you have to be super picky so and i am when i buy floral picks from there so let me just show you the ones the new ones that i found this is called plastic greenery grass don't smoke this grass i mean i'm just like public announcement here do not smoke this grass so this is called public greenery what does that mean oh no plastic not public plastic greenery grass what does that mean it's well, we know it's plastic. This isn't grass. Whatever. Anyway, I love it. I think I love the colors in this, like that lime green coming through and all that. And you know, I bought three because I usually buy three of whatever pick I pick up from them. I love that. Then there was this one. And this one is called plastic greenery grass. We have a theme. Don't smoke it. We have a theme. Okay, so look at this one. It looks like little bushes, right? Like if you're gonna cut it apart and put it on some craft, it would make perfect little bushes. Cause like, see that? The leaves are super small. I love to find those. And this one, I've bought this one I think before, but it looks so much like carrot tops for whenever you're doing Easter crafts or whatever. But also very shabby chic because of the color of it. Like it's really good small fern for a shabby chic craft. So yeah, I love that. And then this one, I'm gonna assume it's also called plastic greenery grass. It is. But look at the color of this one. I want you guys to notice, because I am really careful when I buy greens. So check this out, right? So we have the darker green with the small little leaves, perfect for a little bush. This one, which is like a fern, like an airy fern, perfect for carrot tops, perfect for shabby chic, like so many things. And then this one, which has those super airy, very, look at how light that green is which is really good. This I feel is very farmhouse. 
I mean, all of them could be farmhouse, but I feel like this is just like, it's not boxwood, but I think you know where I'm going. Like it's that same kind of color. Anyway, so I'm really careful when I, when I buy picks at Dollar Tree, I only buy certain ones. I won't buy their cheesy ass floral stuff sometimes. It's like, really? But every now and again, they get really good stuff. You guys, if you watch my channel, you know the picks that I will always buy from them, the really good ones that are, anyway, I don't have any right now. But if you watch, you know. And so greenery, I love greenery. I use it a lot. And so when I find a really good one, I'm in love. Okay, so this is brand new and I think it's a glass. No, I know it's a glass. Maybe it's not. I think it's a glass. Isn't it a glass? It's like a, it's like a tall. But can you guys see the divots right here? So it's like, hold it, like, for you to hold it with. But I love the dimension in this. I love the whole, like, um, what's the word I want? It's not clear, right? It's whatever it is. Anyway, I love this. So I'm, I'm not going to use it as a glass. It's super thick, by the way. Look at how thick that base is. So I see it as a vase of some sort. Um, and I just love the indentations in it because I think that lends itself so much to adding more dimension to this and making it really pretty. Like even if you could chalk paint it and like, you know, sand off some of the, the things, you would have this great dimension in just the, the press of the glass. I hope you guys can see that. Anyway, I have a whole thing full of glass. Why? I don't know. All right, and then there's these. Now, I have to say, I've bought so much glassware from Dollar Tree and I've made very few crafts with it, but apparently I really like it and I'm really addicted to it. And then I buy it and I'm like, mm, what am I gonna do with it? I don't know. But in their nautical line, they had these things that had like starfish and so on and so forth on them. And I was like, they were so cool. I still haven't done anything with them, but I thought they were so cool. But these, just look, see that like alligator is what I keep thinking. Like that square sort of indented, can you guys see that? And then this one with like the, the knobbies on it. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Wait, I hear the ocean. But they're gonna go in my glass stash and at some point I'm gonna be like, oh, there's that. And then I'll pull them out and I'll do something with them. That's kind of how I craft. Like I just buy stuff that I like it and then I throw it in my stash and I have to do like six months of craft your stash. So that's about what I have, at least six months worth of crafts in my stash, but okay, whatever. All right, we only have one more bag. So first off, this, which has been there before, but it's their marble contact paper. So I decided I wanted to get it only because I wanted to throw it in my stash. Are we ta we're talking about Grass you can't smoke and stash. Hmm. Not hash, stash. So, kind of an odd video. Um, but I did just pick it up just for that because I'm thinking like, I'm gonna throw it in my stash. At some point, I'm gonna wanna do something marbleized just because it's really boho and it's like, I don't know. Do I have to say anything more? I don't think so. I'm gonna go with no. Maybe I'll use it in a craft today. All right, and then um, let's see what else is in here. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I hauled, probably three weeks ago, I hauled this thing from Disney Baby. Disney Baby. Like, Effingham. You're not a baby, and you're not, you have, n okay, you're not Clarabelle, which is, Dis isn't that Disney? I'm not sure. Anyway, no. Mm, mm, you don't have a belly, I can put this on. Okay, so this is, I, I hauled a Disney Baby thing, and it was for a little boy and it was like, there was all these stickers that you put on like a onesie that said one month, two month, three month, four month. Okay, and then, and then I find this one. So the last one I hauled, Sharon looked, Sharon, I love you, but Sharon always looks up prices for me. And I think it was like $8.99 or something at Walmart or something like that. Got it for a buck 25. So this is the same idea, but it's for a little girl. So it's Minnie Mouse first year milestone belly stickers. So it's got like, um, so this one is like a uh, brand sparkling new and then it has like one month, two month, three month. Yeah. 
It's like perfect to throw in your gift stash for a baby shower, unless you don't know what the sex is. Well, give them both. And then whatever one they don't have, they can save for the next one. I don't know, for $1.25, it's worth throwing in the gift stash, it really is. I'm not gonna craft with this, obviously, but it is a great gift, and that's what I love about Dollar Tree. You can walk in there and find some amazing gifts that are way more than $1.25 if you bought them anywhere else. And I love that. Okay, so then there's, oh, apparently I have material in here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is a um, infinity scarf, but what's on there? What? I'm sorry. What is that? Maybe it goes with this. No, not really. This is so pretty. And I was like, oh, I want to decoupage it on something. Like, I love that B. So it's going in the B bag, not the A or the C bag, just the B bag. It's going in there for sure. And then I this one. So here's the thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but I like it. And I just love the bicycles and I love like the colors in this. And so I was like, well, I'll throw it in my stash. You know, I do DT threads. I haven't done one in a while. I should do another one. And so I buy stuff to like make clothing with. But I'm not even sure I'm going to do that with this just because I really, really love the small bicycle print in this one. So it's going in the stash. Again. There we go. Again. Stash. Apparently it's a word today. All right. And then um, let's see. Oh, these are so cute. I'm sending them to my granddaughter. They're brand new. And they are... Um, Wait, here they are. It's by um, Bio Miracle. Is this Greenbrier? Hold on, I gotta look. Distributed by, no, it's not Greenbrier, so they're not gonna be there long. Distributed by Citra Imports. Okay, whatever, I don't know. Netherlands, wow. Not sure where that is, but it's on the globe somewhere. Okay, so these are so cute, because these are, exfol these are uh, face masks. So this one is chocolate and strawberry. How beautiful is that packaging? Come on. And this one is ice cream face mask. No calories, just a mask. And then this one is peppermint face mask. Yeah. And then cup cupcake face mask. So I'm going to send this off to her because I do like um, the, um, what are they called? Pocket letter things to her. So like flat things are really fun to send in it. So I'm going to send these off to her. She's a pre-tween. She's like, 15, 15, no, 15. Had to think about that. She's 15. So anyway, okay. And then this was another one I bought to send her just because um, she's super talented, super beautiful. Well, of course she's my grandchild, so I'm going to say that, but she really is. So she just got, she just did um, high school choir stuff. And so I just thought this was really good. It says shine bright and it's like glow things that you put up in your room. But see that? There's like a microphone, a star, a disco ball. Anyway, I just thought it'd be super cute to send her. They've had other stickies, glow in the dark stickies, but mostly it's been stars. And there was someone that was like Paris and whatever. Anyway, um, so I've sent the grands, one of my grandsons, I sent him the stars, which he was super excited about. So I thought, I'm going to send her this. I think she'll like it. Okay. Then. I got to say, I think this is super, super, super beautiful packaging. I'm sure they were trying to bring it out for Mother's Day, Mother's Day but I got to say, I never found it in my stores for Mother's Day. I found it after. Now, how many of you have experienced that? You go into Dollar Tree, it's after the season for whatever it is, and then you find it like, wow, that was really good. Didn't make it in time. Well, there's probably because it's coming from over the pond. But so the, sh the shoreline line like I just I bought everything shoreline in just two weeks or last week I found all these ribbons that weren't out and now they're out so that this, this happens a lot with them so never give up on looking for whatever it is that you might be looking for so this is mother needs a moment tea isn't this pretty now tea can't go bad can it I don't think there's an expiration date on here anyway it's 20 bags but this is Mother Needs a Moment. This is lemon, ginger, passion fruit, peach, mango, and pineapple twist. This is so beautiful. This is so gift basket. This is so high-end looking. And I'm like, oh my gosh, so there's 20 bags total in here. So even if we do the math, it's like six, seven cents a bag. Not bad. 
but it's beautiful packaging for a gift basket. I'm like, yeah. So I grabbed that for the stash. I'm not really a tea drinker. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to show. No, I got one more thing before I show you the last thing. So there's this, squeeze the day. Why? Because it's a lemon. Is that a reason? Hmm? I don't know. Anyway, I was just thinking like, couldn't you Mod Podge with this? So it's a whole package of sticky notes. There's 60 in here. So just take this, cut out the blue and Mod Podge on something. It just says squeeze the day with lemon. Super cute. Do it in the background of a sign and then put something in front of it. Do it on a tray. Do it so many ways you can do this. Just remember, never, never, ever look at something for exactly what it is. Like me. Just always look that there's some other reason. So this says squeeze the day. I totally thought about it for Mod Podging and making a really cute lemon project. And it would say squeeze the day all over it. Take the blue out. Really, really perfect for lemon, a lemon craft. All right, now the last thing I'm gonna show you is a new, a brand new little decor piece that they've done. I know all of you do exactly what I do, which is you walk down the aisles like, what's new, what's new, what's new? Like, I don't know, Effingham has something to say, but I can't find his voice. Effingham. There you are. What's, what's new? There's always, are you surprised at all the new stuff I find at Dollar? So am I. And for all of you that tell me Dollar General carries, I'm not going to Dollar General. If I go to Dollar General, I'll be broke. Because I can't have another addiction. So I like finding the things that I find at Dollar Tree. I love the hunt. I just, it's so much fun to walk and be like, what's new? So I found this. Now I'm going to say before I show this to you, I'm not super into this. I mean, I... I like a cross as much as the next person, but I don't think they did these really well. So I'm gonna tell you why I bought them. Number one, because they're new. So this one is wish, wish for the Lord to save you. Next one is hope, hope that he hears you. And last one is pray that he hears you. Anyway, I don't actually, I think these are really kind of cheesy, you guys, I'm sorry, I really do. But what I did think was like, first of all, I love the concept of a frame. So I'm gonna open one up just to show you. Oh, I do have one more thing to show after that. I love the concept of a frame and I think this is what you guys are gonna like about it too. Check this frame out. So there is a ridge in it where the cross goes. Now I am going to figure out, probably not right now, but I'm gonna figure out either how to get the cross out or just use it as is. Because from this side, I think, I could make that cross beautiful. I think this is super cheesy and bad. I'm not saying I don't like the flowers. I think they're okay, but this, awful. And then this one is, I don't like the gold. Why Why do we have a, I, lime green is my favorite color, but why? I'm not sure. And then this one, which the word is even like, yeah. So some of the, this is what I love about Dollar Tree. They'll have some okay ideas, but it never goes to, Completion, like it's like, you were almost there, but you missed the boat. So when I look at this one, I'm thinking, first of all, look at the back. Like they don't even, they never line the paper up. I actually do love the flowers. I can see taking the wish off and then adding some jute twine and making it a way prettier. Maybe that's what I'll do. That's what I should do for my craft. Maybe it's just make this way prettier. So, but what I really wanna say is it's this, it's the frame that has this groove in it. Think about all the things that Dollar Tree sells us that you could put in that groove. Every one of their wood pieces small enough would fit in that groove and you could make a really cool framed sign item that has, um, there's no background to it, right? So the, the thing about this is you're hanging it on the wall, you're gonna see the wall behind it. So anyway, I love that concept. I have not tried to take one apart yet, but they're seamed right here, so I'm assuming it wouldn't be too difficult. And like I said, the concept is good. They just, we didn't take it all the way. You know what I mean? Yeah, all right. All right, guys, that's it. Oh no, one more thing. So I bought these for the grandkids because I love to buy them funky little things and I send them in the mail. But these are so cool. It's called DIY Wacky Tracks. So it's like these, like, it's like a fidget toy. So I got these colors in them to send off to them. 
Well, I got two of the same because the two youngest ones they live in different households, so I always kind of send them the same color. And then this is obviously for the granddaughter. These are for the two youngest ones, and this is for the middle grandson. The oldest grandson's 19. I really I can't send him this anymore. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So anyway, I just thought those were so cute. They're like so fun. Like this little, they just like twist and yeah, right? So I love the little gadget things that they sell there for kids or whoever. And it also, honestly, you could make a pretty cool DIY with this. If you made like a, you could make a frame for a kid's room. Like you could totally trim out a frame with this. There's lots of things. Anyway, all right, that's it. So now, everybody, that's the end of my haul. Have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Don't forget, tell me who started anyway you get it stay tuned if you want to for the craft otherwise i will see you back here on thursday for a themed thursday no probably between now and then you're gonna get foodie fun day if we get home early enough to do it so anyway guys i love you besties thank you so much for watching and my channel is really growing and i so appreciate it so stick around if you want to see the craft. If not, I'll see you back here for the next video, whatever it happens to be. Effingham, say goodbye. Hey. Okay. Stay tuned for the craft if you want. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. All right, so I'm going to take this. And I'm gonna use this to make a really beautiful cross on this.
So after I hauled my haul, and I was getting ready to make the craft for you, um, Marcus came in and gave me some really sad, sad news that somebody that we know was best friends with my best friend's daughter um, was shot and killed by her boyfriend. Domestic violence is real and it's awful. And so I made this craft because I'm gonna add it to some florals for her services. And I would just like to ask all of you to take a moment and say a prayer. Domestic violence is awful. I grew up with it. I'm aware firsthand, but thankfully never had to see my mother be shot. This young lady had three children and her um, son of 13 was the one who hustled his younger siblings into a back bedroom and then came out to find both of them gone. He, his father shot his mother and then shot himself. So it's a horrible story. It's reality, it's domestic violence. So it was super appropriate that I was <clears throat> doing this craft and now to change that a little bit, um, it came out really beautiful. So I'm gonna be very happy to put this with a floral arrangement. And it was crossed, like how ironic was that? So I showed you guys these crosses that are from, uh, I'm having a hard time talking. Anyway, that I just picked up at the Dollar Tree in there, the concept is good, but they're ugly. So I took one and I redid it. And I just wanted, this came out so beautiful and I'm really thankful. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm just gonna say just a few things really quickly. I started to do the blue on the back, which also looked very good and I was putting um, my shoe polish on it, which is what I did. And you guys can watch the video to see how I made this, but it's very simple. And it came out so incredibly beautiful. Anyway, don't forget, say a prayer. And if you know anybody who, anybody who has experienced that or has experienced that, say a prayer for them specifically. All right, besties, I love you. Goodbye. We'll see you back here on Thursday for Themed Thursday. Albeit, there may be a shortage of a video this week for services and whatnot. So I know you guys will all understand that. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.